Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be talking about RIP Team of the Season Ultimate today. They basically just killed Ultimate Team of the Season today with the content. No guaranteed Ultimate Tots SBC came out today. We get another deluxe, uh, basically deluxe party bag SBC, I guess is what you could call it. But I want to talk about this SBC that was re-released today, the Deluxe Tots SF and the rest of the world Tots SF guaranteed. And then also just talk about the update that came out today because we got a FIFA update today um, where some things were updated. And also uh, talking about the market because it is Rewards Thursday, right? So usually when we have a week of team of the season, like Monday is a pretty hype day with upgrades, right? This week, the upgrades were trash, not very hype. Tuesday, you know, not the most hype day. Same this week. Wednesday is usually another very hype day with the guaranteed TOTS SBCs. And today, they didn't give us that ultimate TOTS guaranteed. Instead, they re-released the Deluxe, which they put out on Tuesday for filler content, I guess you could say. It was set up perfectly, man. It was set up perfectly by EA. They could have released the ultimate TOTS SBC today. Everybody would have been freaking hyped. Everybody would have done the SBC overpaid because SBC fodder is already very expensive. Uh, and it didn't come. We got a re-release of the Deluxe Tots SF Guarantee. Now, some people have asked me, are we going to end up getting the Guaranteed Ultimate Tots uh, on Thursday? I guess I, can, I can't rule it out and say that it's not going to happen, but I would be surprised if that SBC would come on Thursday unless EA is actually going to uh, do a similar situation like they did with the Party Bags uh, earlier this year with having three in a row three weeks in a row with party bag SBCs um, as they did earlier this year. Maybe they're going to do that again and drop a another guaranteed Todd's SBC, whatever that may be today on Thursday. I still would not think that uh, they would do that, but we shall see. But today is Rewards Thursday, and I do want to talk about some of the market stuff. I'll save that for a bit, though. First, what I want to talk about is the update in today's FIFA. I just want to talk about that a little bit um, and then look at some of the actual SBC for the league SBC players got updated and there's actually some decent cards in there at least one of them uh, That I do want to talk about so Today uh, EA tweeted out a couple different things, which I, I want to show you guys first of all they, they tweeted out a new uh, uh, Pitch notes which ab you know Just uh, according to how EA operates it is not showing up right now on the pitch notes page but supposedly the five gigabyte update that was released today was uh, maybe adding a new server and just, you know, adding in some, some sort of things related to like the server, gameplay improvements, stuff like that. I'll find out this weekend when we play for champions because there are, again, team of the season rewards. Ultimate toss rewards are going to be in not only today, uh, team of the season rewards, this Thursday today, but also next Thursday because EA delayed the team of the week. Again, so we take a look at the direct communications Twitter account today. There's a lot of stuff that they were tweeting out today. So earlier this morning, title update number 18 is now live. Uh, contains upgrades to the tools we use to further drive gameplay responsiveness investigations. Okay, drop the pitch notes and then we'll read in, into those. Uh, but that update is out. I don't know. I haven't like read uh, anything about the gameplay that it's different or whatever. I haven't played any games myself. So we'll figure that out later this week. And then also... Uh, they did not end up releasing Team of the Week moments today according to their old plan. But what they did do is they said it's going to resume in basically two weeks. So two weeks from Wednesday, that was yesterday, we are going to be getting a legit Team of the Week for actual games played around the world. So no more of the Man of the Match stuff for the Bundesliga. Uh, no more Man of the Match stuff. Probably in two weeks or guaranteed in two weeks, we will be getting... Uh, a new team of the week, like actual team of the week cards for real world performances. But what that means is, and this is this is the part of the uh, the tweet today that really got us, you know, uh, again a more of a negative thing. Week in league rewards this coming week, so the week in league June twelfth through June fourteenth, which is this weekend, will be the same as the ones that were available for last week's competition, June fifth through seventh. So ultimate toss rewards are going to be today. And next week, so these Ultimate Tots cards will be in Reds and in the Elite Packs uh, for two weeks in a row. But what th the way this is worded, and this is what got a lot of people today on Twitter, and this tweet right here by Jake absolutely describes it. You can't revert Red Picks back to Team of the Week after having these Tots cards in Reds 
for five, six, seven weeks in a row. You can't go back. Last year, you didn't go back. You kept these TOTS cards in rewards, and it was good. It was fine, and it kept people. Uh, it it kind of rewarded people, maybe for playing the game, which, who, EA, why would you do that this year? No, nah, I don't know. But anyway, um, I hope that they go and change that and keep TOTS rewards uh, in foot until the end, of the, the end of the game. That would be dope. They also just tweeted this today. They said through a server release, so the update, the, the pitch notes, right? We've added the Soccer Aid World 11 FC to kickoff, right? Who cares about a kickoff mode? Not any of us. The thing that is interesting about this is, you know how we've been talking about gameplay changed after that five gigabyte update a couple weeks ago when EA said that they updated La Liga graphics and it was five gigabytes. Now we have our answer. So they did a server release update which is what they clarified right here through a server release update oh they added some other things well and i just tweeted this out a little bit ago i quote tweeted this and i said hey now that you've done this you're basically confirming to us that you update other things in this game that you don't tell us about in pitch notes or through communication via tweets um you update other stuff in the game other than what you tell us so there's stuff going behind the scenes which we knew all along but you're actually coming out and admitting it now, regardless of whether you're actually trying to do that or not, you are. So, that is what's been going on with FIFA today. A lot of stuff has been going on in the FIFA world in terms of, uh, you know, communication-wise and all that sort of stuff. So, I just wanted to kind of relay that to you guys and talk about it a little bit. And actually, what EA did is now you can see there used to be three here on the schedule. Uh, so, it looks like they're keeping in... They are keeping... The TOTS SF reward weekend leagues here. So this is this weekend's weekend league and next weekend, which will both actually never mind. This is the first weekend here is the only one with TOTS rewards, but this one still says team of the season SF rewards so far. So this this weekend league right here technically should say team of the week rewards. So unless this changes to team of the week, technically there's still TOTS rewards in uh, not this weekend's weekend league, but next weekend too. So we will see boys. We shall see what EA wants to end up doing with this. I hope they keep tots cards and rewards for the rest of the game. And just, if they want to release team of the weeks, fine, release team of the weeks. I don't mind some informs. Um, you know, they're going to be kind of irrelevant since we have all these tots cards now in the game. Uh, the informs are going to be kind of irre irrelevant, but, uh, sweet. It gets us involved. Maybe we'll see like ones to watch. I don't know. I don't really care about ones to watch anymore. I don't think a lot of you guys either care about ones to watch anymore, but it might be interesting just to see uh, new dynamic images on cards. I, I don't know. So it, at least we'll get some content al along the lines of team of the week in the next few weeks, which aren't even really needed now for SBCs. Um, but let's, that's enough talking about that. Let's talk about the market, right? Because I talked about in my video yesterday that the guaranteed Ultimate Tots SBC that was supposed to come out today. When or if that did come out, you would see some panic. Now, at least we got this SBC today. So if you were looking to buy some Thursday flips, today around 6 p.m. UK was a fantastic time to do that. I'm going to go show you some cards right now that I actually bought today. I'll show you my transfer list first. These were all cards I talked about on my video yesterday because I saw these rise from Tuesday into Wednesday. Uh, so I was, again, going to buy them if they dropped on Wednesday and sell them into Thursday for an even higher price after rewards. Yesterday, Marquinhos was 200,000 coins flat. I bought like six or seven of them, uh, like 200 to 210 K, sold them all for 230. All these hours were bought at 235 to 242, sold at 260, 270. Uh, and then I think that's, I got a lucky uh, lazy sale on Wambasaka for 30 K overpriced. That was a GG. And I cleared out some of the club today with some, some random stuff that I, I still had in the club anyway. But these are all my Thursday flips. As you can tell, I am broke, man. 20,000 coins. Uh, I'm not even waiting for the upgrades that will come out today on Thursday if we're getting upgrades. We'll talk about that for a bit at the end too. Uh, but I basically bought, again, like I told you guys, outside backs, defenders, uh, and some just OP, usable, linkable, and very popular team of the season cards that uh, that's what I bought. And a lot of those cards went down today around the 6 p.m. time frame, and they have now since risen up. Awar is a perfect example. It was a short window of, of panic today, but it's always around that release of a new guaranteed 
player SBC, right? This is Awar from today. You can see it exactly what happened. He was 260, 270 in the morning, dropped down to 249 around the 6 p.m. content drop. I think I got my Awars at 240, 250, and 240. And I think I have another one at like 235. So I bought three Awars for 240 to 250. You can tell last weekend he was 334 on the PlayStation, 290 on the Xbox. He went all the way back down to 245, which was, I was trying to get him under 250. And I would expect this card to be back around like the, at least the 310, 320,000 coin range uh, this week with rewards. Maybe not 334 again, but at least 3, 315, 320 maybe. Um, so that's why I bought that OR card today. Very popular. Look how many games played this guy has. He's got a ton of games played. I bought Marquinhos as well because this card is rare. Marquinhos is very, very rare. 60,000 games as well, which is a decent amount. Really good stats. And look at his bounce from last weekend. 200,000 coins all the way up to 240, 250 on both consoles. He went all the way back down to 200, 190 on the Xbox. And he's still chilling. Uh, he, he was 200 again today. You can see this the last two days on Tuesday. Boom, back down to 200,000 coins, 188 on the Xbox. And then on uh, today again on Wednesday, Went down to 200,000 coins right here, which, you know, it says 208. There were multiple snipes around 200 flat, and he's kind of bounced back up already uh, for some of those as well. So if you're still looking for some cards to buy, do not be afraid. If you missed some of these TOTS buys earlier today, there's still some team of the season cards that are decently low. Marquinhos right now on Footbin shows as 215,000 coins, which we just looked, and he was around there. If you can snag this guy on the PlayStation... For like two two oh five, like that's one undercut. That's very a, a 10k undercut is not crazy by any means. 218 with a shadow right there. Like this guy could have easily pressed L1 or LB and listed that 10k cheaper, and it would have been a buy, especially with the shadow chem style. So still look out for deals on the market tonight before rewards. If you're looking to buy something uh before rewards, so like maybe 205 to 208 for this card on PlayStation, and then also if you're looking on Xbox, maybe like 200k flat or under 200k for sure maybe like a 190 if you can that'd be perfect for that card um but i also would like to inform you that icons are still very very flippable because people have all these tots cards untradeable from all these guaranteed sbcs and all these upgrade packs and they gotta link them somehow icons are becoming more popular to link these things together. I bought this today at 110,000 coins. That was a nice little undercut on Schmeichel. This guy went from 120K to like 170 last weekend. That's a 50,000 coin rise on a card that if you sell it at 180 or 160, 170,000 coins, you have less than 10,000 coins of tax. So you're making a big, that's a huge return on investment for only a 100,000 coin card going up 50,000 coins right there. That's a big one. Blanc last week was 400K. He went up to 450, 460. Um, Desai was the same thing. Desai and Blanc have very similar graphs, except Desai is more rare on the market, what I've noticed. So he fluctuates a little bit more. Uh, but there's some open bids, and you're, you're going to find some undercuts yet tonight that you'll be able to, to get some of these cards. Just look for some popular prime, middle, and baby icons. Now, I've, I have a lot of primes right now on my um, transfer list. And I got a lot of primes because they're so cheap right now that if you could afford the middle version, uh, you can probably afford the prime version because Rykard Prime, this card was like almost a million coins at one point in the year. He's now 200K. One, I bought this for 176 today. The icon drop off has been mental. This Makalele card, I remember selling him for a million coins earlier this year, trading with him, right? He's 230K. Ridiculous how much these Tots cards have dropped the market but if you're still looking for some flips tonight you can definitely get out and around the market and find some deals i'm going to relist these for lazies real quick and clear all of these sales and uh we'll be set for weekend league rewards tomorrow hopefully uh with the rewards that are coming we will get some upgrade packs today uh because if we do get the league upgrade packs and i want to talk you guys through this if we get the 25k league upgrades if ea says all right we've messed around enough we're going to give these guys some good content if they drop the league upgrades today so prem la liga bundesliga syria and league on if they drop all those today the ones that you're going to want to hit the most are going to be league on the prem 
and possibly La Liga. And it doesn't, you know, you, you can probably figure that out for yourself, right? Because these are the cards that are in packs right now. And if you're going for an Mbappe, a Neymar, or a Ben Yedder, those are still a lot easier to pack than a lot, the, a lot of the rest of these because of the lack of rares in the League One. So, if those upgrades do drop today, I do expect to see some uh, prices rise around the market on like rare golds. Uh, now, rare golds right now, I think are like 800 to 900 coins. They're, I mean, the low rated ones are because you have to, you have an 82 plus SBC that is requiring higher rateds. This is one of the guys that I always check when I look at low rated golds. How much is this guy right now? Okay, so this, this guy's 750. Okay, so the, basically if it's an under an 80 or 81 rated card, a lot of these golds are super duper cheap because they're not needed for the upgrade SBC since the upgrade SBCs require a rating. So today, if we get league upgrade 25k packs, you'll probably see some of these jump up because people have been wanting to do upgrades all week long and they haven't been able to do them because the upgrades are too expensive and they're not good value. So if we get premiums today, that would be huge. I could also maybe see like an 81 plus double coming out that would have no rating requirement, which would not be the best in my opinion. I hope we get the league specific ones. I really do because then you'll have a better chance at packing and be able to craft more SBCs if we get those that, uh, that do come out today. But again, if you're looking for some market movements around rewards, what can you expect to happen with these cards? A lot of these are already up in price from where they were on like Sunday, Monday timeframe. What you could see when we get to the re rewards time frame is like top 100 rewards. If you got top 100 this week, you are set. You're literally set because you're going to get all the guys on the bench down here, right? You're you're making like an automatic two to three million coins from top 100 rewards this week. And that's going to be some supply for these higher rated cards, especially the elite one players. They get it two picks or two packs. And even the elite players from this last week in league, there's going to be some supply, especially on like the Trent, the Henderson, the Immobile, the Kimmich, the Luis Alberto. A lot of these guys are going to get hit in price today. Carvel Hall is going to get hit in price, but you might see a little bit of a rebound on these two just because they are very desirable, especially on a guy like Trent and Carvel Hall and Sancho. Um, I do think you could see a bit of a rebound. Now for these top tier guys, you might see a little bit of a dip in price in the first, you know, maybe hour or two of rewards as somebody packs him, they list him up and, you know, that happens a couple times and there's a little bit of, you know, just supply coming onto the market. Um, but other than that, I would probably expect these to go even higher today because if somebody did not have the coins, but they finished elite, they're going to get some coins today from rewards. They might be able to go out and buy one of these cards they've been wanting to buy for a while. Um, just because they got the coins today at rewards. There's going to be a lot more coins again, pushed onto the market. The potential for you to make a lot of coins at rewards today is massive. The potential is incredible. Imagine an elite pack, three pack, three player pack, right? Imagine you hit like a top, a player from the starting 11, besides Hummels and Oblock, we've got nine players in here all over. Okay, there's Benzema. So three players, nine players in here, eight players all over a million coins with a 4 million coin card on the bench and a 600K card on the bench. So if you had any one of those, you're making big time money, big time money. Imagine hitting a Neymar, Mbappe, Messi, Ronaldo, De Bruyne, Lewandowski. There's the potential for a lot of coins to be made. You're going to see some crazy packs on Twitter. You're going to see some crazy packs um, when people open their rewards today just because of the lucky ultimate tots packs they will get. And I think that's going to push the market up uh, all around. I honestly do think that's going to push the market up all around especially in the high tier as well. Uh, since people know they can play for ultimate tots rewards again this weekend, it's going to make there be more demand for some of these cards on the market. One thing I forgot to do, I will show you right now. I talked about this in the beginning of the video and I don't want to leave this out is EA sports updated. Some of these SBCs today, they updated the pro league to include a, uh, Vormer. Is that his name? Vormer, Club Brugge, that's a, a decent looking card. If they could have juiced his pace a little more, that would have been nice. And then I think they upgraded the these two SBCs right here, Comni Bowl SBCs and the Sud America. So we got Romero. And then this card right here, um, this guy right here, um, what's his name again? Rojas. This guy actually looks pretty beast. It's not going to be the easiest to link him, but there's a lot of um, 
Paraguay players this year with some really good stats. And you could link this guy to like uh, Valbuena uh, at Valencia, not Valbuena, Valencia at right back. You could link him to the other Rojas who is already in the like Conmebol Libertadores team. That would be a strong link with those two guys, right? Or a weak link. Uh, but that'd be pretty dope. And then like the Morera right back from the MLS. I, I don't know, man. If you're a Paraguayan fan or a uh, Conmebol or Sudamerica fan, you got some nice uh, cards today. That's not a bad card at all, the, Ro the Roja. So GG's to EA for actually releasing somewhat of a fun looking card. Definitely not very linkable, but a fun card if you're a Sudamerica or Conmebol uh, Libertadores SBC grinder. So that's the content for today. Kind of, again, RIP, Ultimate Tots, with all the stuff that has been going on. Uh, it's just like this Ultimate Tots is really, really dead. Rewards is going to be kind of exciting today because of the potential for the big pack pulls that you could get in Reds or in the Elite Packs. But other than that, this um, Ultimate Team this season has definitely been an L. It's definitely been an L. So hopefully EA can step it up for footies, or at least they're hopefully using something uh, being somewhat, you know... Um, I don't know, looking forward to FIFA 20 run right, 21 right now and being proficient with their time that they're using there to make that game. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.